Hi, you guys. We have a great day of crafting ahead of us for today. So I am going to be showing you guys how to make some party decorations. This is me planning for the Valentine's Day party that I have coming up. So we're going to go ahead and get a lot of crafting done. But as you guys can see here, um, we are going to be using the go to craft um bundle kit that came for the Cricut machine. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this kit. This kit was gifted to me by GoToCraft and I'm super excited to use a lot of the materials that they have in here to get these projects done. I will leave a link below for this kit if you guys are interested, but let's go ahead and get started with today's projects. So along with the tools provided in the kit, there is a ton of vinyl supplies that is provided as well. So you're going to find some sticker sheets as well as a lot of solid color vinyls to work with. And they also supply you with a great deal of iron-on glitter vinyl. So this kit provides you with a lot of transfer tape. So that'll definitely come in handy for the projects that I will be working on today. This kit is perfect for the beginner crafters who loves to learn how to use different types of material in their Cricut machine. And it also works as a great gift to anyone who loves to craft. So I hope that you guys will consider getting this kit for yourself. I will link it down below like I said already. So let's go ahead and get started with today's projects. If you guys have seen the foam board video that I just posted on my channel recently, then you are definitely familiar with this birthday flower box that I've made for a party. It has greatly served its purpose and now we are going to give it a new look. So I am going to begin by removing the old vinyl that was on there. Um, removing this vinyl is definitely very satisfying, but it's going to start taking off the paper layer of the foam. So let me go ahead and take it all off. <music> Removing the vinyl is definitely an accident that turned out for the better because the exposed foam works perfectly for the look that I am envisioning for this project. So throwing this Valentine's Day party definitely means that the decorations must be on point with the Love Day theme. So I'm going to continue um, adding some more details to this project. I want everything to stand out. <laughs>
Okay, so my idea for this phone board is to make a makeshift candy store. I've browsed a few ideas on Pinterest and I'm going to make my own version using only materials that I have on hand. So I've definitely been challenging myself to sort of like think outside the box when it comes to crafting with materials in my stash. So I'm going to be using this pink tissue paper in a strip um, like striped pattern to achieve this vintage candy shop look. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few more details later. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so the next DIY that I want to add to this candy shop is a small heart. So I saw a reference of this on Pinterest, but since I'm using foam, I really won't be able to use hot glue because it's not going to stick on there. So after everything that I tried, I realized that I needed something a little bit sturdier on top of this foam. So I used um, one of the sticker sheets to add on top of it as a surface that the glue can adhere on. So I just went ahead and added that to the heart so that um, this project could continue. So I'm just going to add that on top and then continue adding the um, streamers to it and create the design that I want. <laughs>
Okay, so the next DIY that I'm going to be working on is these hearts. I made these last year for Valentine's Day and filled them up with flowers. They are some foam hearts that I made, um, but I'm going to be removing the flower foam from them. And I'm going to just revamp these and turn them into conversation hearts um, for decoration. So go ahead and stick around and we will get that done. Let's go ahead and prep our Cricut machine for the vinyl that will be used on the Valentine's Day hearts. So the go-to craft kit comes with two mat options, which is the standard grip mat that is green and the light grip mat, which is the blue mat. Um, for this specific project, though, I'm going to use the standard grip mat for more hold on the vinyl. Um, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and start picking a color for the lettering that I'm choosing. So I'm going to choose between this blush pink, dark pink, or this like cherry red color. Um, I'm definitely choosing the cherry red color because it's definitely really bold and it matches the conversation heart that I am designing. So definitely I'm going to go ahead and choose the design that I want and upload it to Cricut Design Space to connect to my machine.
Well, there's something about the weather when we're out on our own. Something about the path that leads us forever home. And we don't need a reason, just changing with the seasons, following the feeling in our souls. Now the trail with me. Something about the weather when we're out on our own. Something about the path that leads us forever home. And we don't need a reason, just changing with the seasons, following the feeling in our souls. Now the show with me.
We're chasing daylight and we're so full of light Into the sunrise Letting it all go Cause when you're There's something about the weather When we're out on our own Something about the path that leads us forever home We don't need a reason Just changing with the seasons Following the feeling in our souls Now that you're with me We're chasing daylight and we're so fully Turning cause we're hopelessly alive You mean the sunrise We're still miles away from the end of the day And the wind walks by our side We'll fly through the rivers and we'll swim through the sky Nothing can bring us down when it's you and I Okay, you guys, so the projects are definitely coming along great. I am super excited to be using the GoTo Craft Kit. It is definitely coming in handy for all of these projects. So next, I'm going to be working on this t-shirt design. So I went on... Um, canva and i just used their feature to put together this design and i'm super excited with how it turned out um, i'm gonna be using it here in the cricut and i'm gonna be using this avery um t-shirt transfer um and you guys will see just how i'm able to combine the go-to craft um vinyl in this design and as you guys will be able to see here um, i'm gonna do all this work and it's actually not gonna turn out well because i forgot to mirror my design but once i got a hang of it i just went back and switched it around and you guys will see just how beautifully this t-shirt design comes around so if you are planning a party definitely think about um, some of the different activities that you want to have there. I think that using Cricut Vinyl is such a great way to add um, fun to any party activity. So you can do t-shirts, um, you can do any sort of um, transfers on any blanks that you guys can think of. So you can do cups, plates, 
anything that would be super fun to craft with people. So I think for this party, we definitely are going to want to make some t-shirts. So I am testing out this design and seeing just how easy that it is to do. So I'm going to be using the go-to craft um, material and toolkits here, as you guys will be able to see, to get this design done. So go ahead and keep on watching. And um, I really appreciate you guys sticking around for this. Okay, so I went off camera and mirrored my design and now I'm ready. I actually ended up using the light grip from GoToCraft for this one because I realized that the other project just got a little too sticky. So this made it a lot easier to be able to peel it off of the mat. So that is why I love that they give you two options for the grip. So go ahead and use whatever tools you need to be able to take that off of the mat is what I'm going to do here. Um, next, I'm going to be using a Gildan t-shirt. It is 100% cotton and I'm going to be ironing that with my heat press. So I'm going to make sure to measure out where I want my design. I also went ahead and cut out the heart shape that I have here for the design. So I'm going to make sure to combine it. So it's going to be a combination of the vinyl and the heat transfer from Avery. Okay, so out of all the vinyls that you guys saw, I'm choosing to go with this fuchsia color. The glitter is super cute on it. I really think that it matches the design very well. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. So GoToCraft definitely provides you with a lot of different options for your projects. So I absolutely love the fact that I am able to use this iron-on transfer for today's project. <laughs> Thank you. 